Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. Let's speak about the future of humanity now. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going, sir? Uh, what's the scientist in you looking forward to? I think uh, I don't see a lot of change. I mean, of course, look, India will reach the uh, the living standards of uh, the West uh, very soon, 20 years, 15, 20 years. Uh, and then the Nordic, this thing, then other things would start. I mean, you see in America, the discussion now is not about uh, schools and hospitals or curing diseases. It's about woke culture. It's about who is a man, who is a woman. Just today I saw some woman, I even forget her name. She is rearing her two boys as girls, you know, and uh, there are these operations, sex change operations that they are doing on children. So those are the new new problems that will crop up in quote unquote advanced societies, okay. and uh, they, they hasn't it hasn't reached our shores yet because we are more concerned about survival. Mm. You know, uh, ours is a cylinder and uh, gas cylinder and tap water and toilet society right now. Mm. When you talk of future twenty thirty years down the line, it won't be that. What would be the repercussions of that? So uh, what about biotech specifically? Like what's so, happening? Yeah. So biotech, we, I mean, human clones would be very common. Really? Yes. How far away from that? Technologically, we are uh, not more than five years away. What? Yeah. Technologically? Yeah. How is a clone made? So for, I mean, to give you an example, Dolly, the, the clone sheep, it required, I think, 150 failed experiments to come up with one successful Fertilization. Okay. Um, Indians cloned um, a cow. They named Ganga just two weeks ago. Um, of course, that was 20 years after Dolly. But human embryos, I mean, the embryos, there were reports that in China, they've already started doing it. That's why stringent regulatory means are there. But sooner or later, these regulations never help, right? I mean, you know, uh, you always find people... Uh, nuclear uh, science is one example. You use it for good purposes, you used it for bad purposes. Science, that's the thing with science. You can always use it. You can always, there's always a crossroad. You can always go, people will, as a country, as a nation, will take you in the other direction. You can't do anything about What's it. What's the point of cloning? So you will always find justification and rationalization. For example, I, I can give you five or six points immediately. If you get to know uh, so the moment you are pregnant, you can take a little bit of uh, biopsy or some fluid of the, the growing embryo or infant or something, find out he is going to suffer or he is going to suffer from this genetic disease or he will be blind. You do CRISPR-Cas9, you remove that, you know, thing. So you, you get a clone which is not going to be suffering a disease. So okay. you will always find justification. As in you that. kill the original baby. You transform it, genetically engineer it. Okay. Yeah. One second. I, I thought cloning was if they take a cell from my body. Yeah. In 2093, when I'm 100 years old and I die. Yeah. Maybe my family wants to have me in their life again. Right. So they can clone me and have a new version. Like my grandkids can then raise <laughs> me as... <laughs> That's a f***ed up mind <laughs> speaking on this podcast, <laughs> but I would always assume that that's the application of cloning. For example, people are attached to their pets. But I ask you a very eerie question. Sure. How do you know that? I mean, this is basically almost like Descartes, uh, uh, you know, Descartes said, I think therefore I am. Because he asked a very simple question. How do I uh, know that this whole world is a dream? How do I, so that's why I said, I think, therefore I exist. Mm. But how do I know that you're not already from the previous world? Am I already a clone? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Maybe. But let me tell you. Kind of look Chinese a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, some really uh, breathtaking research happened in very prestigious peer review journals. They that the memories are encoded in your DNA. Your DNA is carrying the memory of your ancestors, at mm. least in animals. They proved it in, I think, hamster. If it is true for humans as well, that there is a certain sequence of DNA that is coding for the memory that your great, 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 great grandfather had. 
Mm. Isn't that unbelievable? Mm. You know, there's yeah. a video game made about this. Like, oh, really? It's called Assassin's Creed. Same concept. I see. They find an, a guy of Italian origin in America. Okay. Put make him sit in a machine. Yeah. And then you can access his memories of his ancestors who were part of a Assassin's Guild I 500 see. years ago oh, in Leonardo da Vinci's time. This is truth for an for a hamster. It is true, and mm. it is so unsettling. Why is it unsettling? Because as my grandmother at least told me story that you know one infant was born I mean one baby was born and after 6 months she told the location wahan pe sone matke mein bhara pada hai wahan pe jao udhar jao 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 usko kaise pata chala mm. is that because uski she was carrying the memory if you are carrying the memory of your ancestor it's a to code a memory which is very which is abstract right i mean can you define what memory is visual plus sound plus hormonal what is it stored as you know bits and bytes like i'm thinking as an engineer you right but i mean where are those bits and bytes how are they it's like uh, the thought there is no physicality that we associate to the thought right it's not brick and mortar so that thought obviously the thought exists in my mind as what electrical signals correct now if i were to say that that thought also existed as a a physical entity which is a string of bases mm. that's unbelievable that that's, means when science progresses enough you will be able to access totally visuals from yes. 300 years ago not only visuals but coded visuals mm. i mean this like atgc atgc ccc atgc you know your 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 great 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 grandfather uh, was smoking cannabis <laughs> <laughs> Why did you pick that example and so my mom's watching <laughs> No I'm kidding It's her great great grandfather so <laughs> exactly So you can say why are you blaming just me <laughs> blame everyone down the line mm, this is why the progress of science is so interesting yeah because there's so many mysteries to unlock yes uh and also you know this thing about energy we are going to solve it very soon uh, you know i mean one way or the other we are not going to need thermal energy anymore coal uh and i i think one of the reasons why you have this race to go to the moon is i forget you you have the the lunar uh, dust or the the surface you can actually access energy that would be sufficient for the next 100 years on earth mm. uh i think uh, helium something that A- helium 3 helium 3 isn't it yeah, yeah. so uh, basically moon has been taking all that uh, the, or uh, three uh, the the radiation from the sun helping us but you know all that uh, lunar surface is rich with that energy source mm. so if you mine that you know you don't need, but i think we don't even need to go that far off we have some uh, some new thing science would come up with that we wouldn't i mean cold fusion of course is is not yet a reality mm. but very quickly we would get to something okay yeah. i want to take you back a little bit to cloning again yes like i would assume that one very simple application of cloning is that you attach to your dog your yeah. dog becomes old he's yeah. about to die yeah you can clone him after he passes away and you can have yes. the exact same dog yes same behavior same personality but this is the beauty of it you see your your association with that dog is not just based on the physical appearance of that dog it is the experiences you've had together mm. the love you know love is not just when you see the baby of course if it's your baby you love it but love grows what does that mean you know it mm. means that every association every act of that baby or that dog or the person you are associated with that kind of brings a composite picture of your endearment towards that so when you clone a dog it would be like on day 0 would you be in love with that day 0 dog mm. compa- or would you love that day 0 dog as much as that day 200 dog or whatever that died It's a fascinating question because his previous versions memories are stored in his new versions DNA. <laughs> That is there, but he might not have the same experiences as the previous version has. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, of course, there is epigenetic thing, and there is a lot of environmental factors that uh, you know dictate how uh, society not only not just societies progresses but cells progress. Um, what's the point of cloning? human beings could you turn them into slaves 
Yes. That's the, when you were talking about the wrong side of cloning, that's yeah. this is what you meant. Yes. So for example, especially if you get pissed off with someone. Army of, army of people. Zombies. Zombies, yeah. But then again, I mean, aren't there enough already? Army of zombies. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm from JNU for heaven's sake. No, but uh, sorry. That was a lighter note. <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is that I, I think robotics will supersede that requirement. Ah. See, with with robots and uh, you've seen those amazing clips of, I think, is it Boston Robotics that mm. comes up with these real life looking, human looking yeah. bloody robots that are doing all sorts of crazy things, you know. Everyone's going to have one in the house. Oh my in God. So in 10, 15 years time, you would have, actually, you would have robots that are more powerful, physically more stronger than humans. Mm. So when you talk of needing uh, to clone humans to get an army you would have robots doing the same thing. So probably there was so much effort, money, energy put into learning more about cloning for again, genetic modification, which is the actual goal. See, cloning, I mean, cloning humans is not so much a requirement as cloning for the purposes of drug discovery. So we do cloning all the time. Every day we are doing cloning of bacteria. Okay. You know, so we are cloning genes. We are cloning, back. we are finding new species of bacteria. All that is happening right now as we speak in my lab, in every lab. Gotcha. So that's, that is the part of cloning that is has useful. application. Yeah. So TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage and reading through all the playlists.